In this video, I'll break down how to install Final Cut Pro 10 presets. Now, presets and plugins are completely different. The installation process for a plugin is completely different from the installation process of a preset. So make sure when you buy a Final Cut effect, make sure to check the description to make sure whether it's a plugin or a preset. Now, I have a whole separate video showing how to install Final Cut Pro 10 plugins, which will be up in the annotated cards. But in this video, I will solely focus on how to install Final Cut Pro 10 presets. So here are two presets that I have on my digital store. The camera flash transition and this really cool camera shake transition. These are on sale on my digital store so go ahead and check the link down below. Now if you purchase my preset or you purchase presets from other people they may come in zip files. Now in order to unzip a file all you want to do is you want to select on the file and just double click with your mouse and that's going to unzip the file. We're going to go ahead and unzip this file too. Now you should have folders or it may not come with folders depending on how the, how the person set it up that's selling these products in my case anytime you buy any of my presets it will come with folders now it's a little bit different than plugins instead of just dragging the entire folder into the effects presets folder what I would encourage you to do is I would go ahead and open up the folder and then I would just take these presets and then drag it onto your desktop so here's the camera shake preset now let's open up the camera flash preset and let's just drag that onto the desktop and there you go so basically Final Cut Pro 10 presets should look like this. So if they look like this, then you should be all good to go. Now again, remember, presets and plugins are completely different. So if you purchase any kind of effect and it looks like this, this is going to go in your effects presets folder, not your motions template folder where you would mo where you would put normal plugins. This is a little bit different. So what you want to do is you want to head over here to the Finder app. So go to Finder, click on the Finder app. Then what you want to do is you want to click on application. So select on application. Then you want to do is you want to head over here to go. So click on go. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down to your mouse. Now there should be a little like tab that shows up that's called library. Now as you see it's hidden. You can't really see. So what you have to do is you have to hold down on the option key. So if I hold down the option key, as you can see library, if I release it, and then hold down. So you want to hold down the option key and then go ahead and click on library. And then once you're on library, what you want to do is you want to go to application support, open up application support. Then you want to do is you want to go to the folder called pro apps, open up the pro apps folder, and you should have a folder called effects presets. And this is the folder that you're going to be installing all of your presets into. So as you can see, here is your effects presets folder. If we go ahead and open up the folder, you can see all of my Final Cut Pro 10 presets. What you want to do is you want to cl just click on this arrow right here to go back, and then you want to select on all your presets, or you can select on the individual preset. All you're going to do is you're going to drag these presets into your effects presets folder. Just take the file and then just simply drag it into your effects presets folder. As you can see, here are all the presets, camera flash, and then camera shake 02. It's literally as simple as that. Just drag them into that folder and then you can go ahead and close out of this window and they should be installed in Final Cut. Now I would recommend closing out Final Cut before you install these presets. That is really important and you also want to make sure you're running the correct version of Final Cut. I will put the correct version of Final Cut up on screen because that's very important because it depends on the Final Cut that I created those presets in. So again the, the version of Final Cut you're supposed to be running will be up on the screen. Make sure that is correct or these presets probably aren't going to work. So the main reasons why your presets probably aren't working is you're not putting them in the right folder or you're not running the correct version of Final Cut. Now that you have Final Cut open, let me show you how to find these presets and then apply these presets onto your clip. So what you want to do is you want to head over here to the effects panel right here and your presets should show up in this panel. So as you can see, I have this Brindo Mata Thermal Presets pack that I downloaded a long time ago. As you can see, the Brindo Mata Thermal Presets are right here. You can see Camera Flash is right here and you can see the Camera Shake presets are right there and then also you can see this other really cool like preset pack that I have called Crazy Shakes and here they all are. So they're going to be in your effects panel. Now if you can't find them, what you could do is you could go to all, so select on all right here and then just simply type it up. So we could type up camera flash, type it up and right here, camera shake 02, camera shake 01 and then camera flash. So you can search it up. But basically when I created these presets, I kind of like pre-designated a folder for them. So these folders should just appear because of the way I created these presets. So there should be an automatic folder created when you install these presets into Final Cut, 
But if you don't see that again, you can go to all and just simply search up the preset. But that's basically how you find the presets. All the presets should be in the effects panel. Now I'm going to show you how to actually apply these presets onto your clip. Now, of course, it's going to be different depending on the type of preset you bought. But in this example, I will show you the camera flash transition and the camera shake transition. So what you want to do is you want to add an adjustment layer. Now, in the this adjustment that I'm using is a free plugin from Ryan Nagel. It is a must have if you're using Final Cut. So we're going to take the adjustment layer, we're going to take the short, we're going to drag the adjustment layer on top of the clip. We're going to drag the adjustment, we're going to trim it. We want this adjustment layer to be six, um, uh, six frames. So you can see we click on the adjustment layer, 0, 0, 0.06. You want the adjustment layer to have a length of six frames. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and you want to put the first three frames on the first clip and the last three frames on the second clip. So if we go the arrow keys, one, two, three, and place a marker, one, two, three. So as you can see, the first three frames on this clip and the last three frames on the second clip. Now for the camera flash transition, all you want to do is come over here to the effects panel, go to camera flash and just simply drag and drop. So take the preset and then drag it on to the adjustment layer and there you go, you have a really cool camera flash. So if we go ahead and play the clip as you can see, all of a sudden, there you go. Now you have a really cool camera flash transition. The really cool thing about presets is they're very customizable. So for example, it, it will also show you what kind of uh, like effects and what kind of things I applied onto the preset. For example, as you can see effects, I just simply added a color board. So if we select the adjustment layer, go over here, and then here's the color board. See, I just keyframe the color board. So if I go ahead and select on the adjustment layer and go, as you can see, using the arrow keys, you can see the exact numbers that I used for each one. So you can go through and go frame by frame and adjust the numbers. It's basically just instead of you having to apply on color board and keyframing, I already did that for you and it saves you. So it'll save you a lot of time, but you can go through it and customize it. The next one I'll go over is this really cool camera shake transition. So all you want to do is you want to take an adjustment layer, place it on top of the clip. We're going to select on the adjustment layer. We're going to click on control D and we'll do six frames and then click return. So we just set the direction of this adjustment layer for six frames. You can of course, you know, adjust it, make it longer or slower, whatever. In my case, I would have my adjustment layers between six and seven frames. So if we go one, two, we're gonna place, go, to, uh, go for two frames. So basically the first two frames are on the first clip and the last four frames are on the second clip. You can of course adjust this, but this is just what I personally um, like. Let's go over here to the effects panel. We're gonna go to camera shake presets. We're gonna go ahead and apply the camera uh, shake on here. So camera shake zero one. We're going to apply this onto the adjustment layer. And basically all I did was I just keyframe the position. So if we go ahead and play the clip. This is what it looks like. You have this really, you see, kind of jittery, really cool camera shake transition. And there you go. Now you can, of course, go through here, select on the adjustment layer, and you can see the exact like number of the position and all that kind of stuff. So you can, of course, individually adjust that. You can go ahead and right click on it, click on show video animations, and you can see all of my keyframes. So if you want to adjust that. Now in this case, as you can see if I play it you can see a little bit of like the black bars as you can see right here you see a little bit of the black bars what you could do to fix that is add another adjustment layer on top of all the clips and on top of the other adjustment layer and we're going to increase the scale to something like 125 so 125 so we basically increase the scale for all the clips and that way you won't see any of those black edges so we go ahead and play it frame by frame as you can see see those black edges are gone and of course you can adjust it to your liking but there we go we go ahead and play the clip now you have this really cool like jitter shake transition. We can also head over here and apply some motion blur. Now this is also another free plugin from Ryan Nagel. Let's apply moderate motion um, two. Let's go ahead and mo moderate motion blur on two. Let's go ahead and place the motion blur and then we're just going to option right bracket to trim it. Basically you only want the motion blur like on top of where the animation is happening. So if we go ahead and play the clip. Let's go ahead and play this clip. As you can see, you have this really cool like jitter camera shake with some really cool motion blur. And there you go. That's how you use the camera shake transitions um, preset. Now, of course, I have other presets that you can go ahead and download. And of course, it's going to depend on the different presets you bought. Obviously, that's not going to be the same for every preset. But just want to show you the basic idea of how to apply presets onto your clips in Final Cut. And that is how you install Final Cut Pro 10 presets. If you want to learn how to install Final Cut Pro 10 plugins, I have a separate video for that. But anyways, hopefully you learned a lot from this video. Hopefully now you have a really good understanding of how to use Final Cut Pro 10 presets. If you want to go ahead and buy some of my own Final Cut presets, go ahead and check out the link down below. It'll be a link to my website. I have a whole bunch of presets, plugins, overlays, all kinds of cool stuff for Final Cut Pro 10. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.